Greetings, Spirit Elementary. Happy Wednesday morning. Today's date is May 27th, 2020. My name is Jesse, and I'll be your distance learning news anchor. Good morning. I'm Landon, and I'll be your co anchor for today. Welcome to our news show. Let's take a moment to stand in honor of our wonderful country. Please say the pledge led by my co anchor, Landon. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Landon. And now for today's announcements. This is the last week of virtual learning. iPads collection will be on June 2nd. If if you have checked out an iPad for distance learning, please plan to return your device on this date between 7 to 10 p.m. I mean a.m. or 3 to 6 p.m. Attention fifth grade students. Our achievement, your achievement ceremony will be held on Thursday, May 28th at 7 p.m. at Spirit Elementary. If if weather is not if weather is not looking good, a rain date will be scheduled. And now special announcement from Mr. Robinson, Mrs. T, and Mrs. G. Good morning, gang. Hey, look at here. We have gotten to that time. It's slowly, or should I say very, very quickly, actually, winding down to an end. So, hey, I just want to let you all know that we appreciate you so much. Uh, we love you, girls and guys. Uh, you've been working hard. You want to continue to work hard. Um, like we said, we've been through this together. One of the things that we've learned over this summer, and I've said it a lot on the news, is uh, we've learned kindness. Um, it's something that we talk about every day here at school, but we've learned to practice it even more this summer with this pandemic. So, you know, I wanna hit you with the last few words of kindness, shall we say, or a little wisdom on how to help each other uh, as we continue through what's left of our school year and eventually into our summer. So let's talk about kindness. Put your wisdom face on, shall we? Hmm, yes. So today, let's talk about kindness. To be kind means to be nice to other people and to help them when you can. Listen to these words about kindness. If there is any kindness I can show or any good I can do, let me do it now. I shall not pass this way again. You know, it sort of reminds me of something I heard on the radio this morning uh, and the gentleman was uh, talking about Dr. Martin Luther King and a speech he had made once and the story of the Good Samaritan came up and the good the story is the Good Samaritan is going down the road and he sees, you know, a fellow in distress and he thinks to himself, you know, well, what will happen to me if I help this man? You know, and then the Good Samaritan came along and he saw the man in distress and he turned the story around. He said, what will happen to that man if I don't help him? You know, and so, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, what will happen to that man? Yeah, if I don't help him. And so it was talking about kindness. So remember this, you will experience each moment of your life only once. Yesterday is gone, but today can make the most of every chance you get to do some good in the world. Show people random acts of kindness. Be good to yourself and others. You'll be glad you did. With something to think about, this is Mr. Robinson, and you know the deal. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours, all right? So, hey, continue to work hard. Now, we're going to send it over to Miss T. Hello, Spirit Families. This is Miss T with your distance learning course report. Students, you have made it to the last few days of this school year. 
We know it has been a difficult journey, but are so glad that you have persevered and kept strengthening uh, your mind by logging onto iReady, attending your teacher's lessons, and completing Canvas courses. Last week's time on task for iReady was very inspiring to hear. For this final week, the challenge for the grade levels is to have the highest percentage of lessons passed since we started back at the end of March. On Friday, we will announce which grade level had the highest percentage. Let's finish strong. As always, stay safe and we miss you. Now back to Ms. G. Hi, good morning, friends. Most of you have already probably know this because I posted this to Class Dojo and our social media set sites, but I wanted to come on here and tell you a little bit um, about our SSYRA titles for next year. Something new that we're going to try is we've got, we've got ebooks available for you for checkout. So any upcoming third through fifth grade students, you can log into your V portal, look for the at Destiny or Destiny Discover tile in your V portal, and you can search all of the SSYRA titles, and you can now begin reading them digitally through an ebook version. So I hope that you guys can get a jump start and a head start to all of your SSYRA reading. I'm super excited about the titles this year. I've already started reading some. Right now, I'm reading Dragons in a Bag, which sound like a, it's actually really funny. Um, so again check on your v portal go to destiny search any titles for next year and download those ebooks make sure when you're done reading that you return the ebooks we only have one electronic copy so we can't all share the same book at the same time but it will be helpful to download those and borrow those for a short amount of time and give them back so that others can read jesse and landon back to you Thank you, Mr. Robinson, Mrs. T, and Mrs. G. Remember to be kind to one another. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Remember, spirit yeah, believe. believes together we, together we can be the difference. Stay safe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Yeah.